aquatic habitats here in the Great Barrier Reef. Firstly, the coral reefs. Secondly, the islands. So serene. big idea that maybe I should do some of the scenes, like the host of the scenes, but you know, I'm just, I'm just not sure, I'm, it's a big step and I'm just not sure I'm ready. I think of my grandchildren, home in, in Australia, but I'm not sure, I'm really nervous. Great Barrier Reef is the largest natural feature on Earth. It can be seen from outer space. It's located off the coast of Queensland, Australia. Or oh, the dump. So I, I tried it out and I, I really, I really enjoyed it. I, this could be this could be a big break for me in my career. I had a bit of a celebration with the kids. So these these people have just, you know, we're in the middle of filming. Look at them. Look at them. They just come on. They think that's okay. Look, we've had to move the whole crew, the whole crew. Do you think that's easy? We're gonna have to move all the way over there. Can you see? Can you see over there? We have to move all the way over there. You know, listen to me. This, this is gonna be tough. Listen this is to tough that on the crew. Banter. Team morale is low. This is not good. Temperatures in the Great Barrier Reef can reach between 24 and 33 degrees Celsius. This is because it is located between the Tropic of Capricorn and the equator. Here are some interesting facts and statistics about the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest reef system and it's composed of 2,900 individual reefs. The Great Barrier can be seen from outer space. Tourism to the reef generates approximately Aus Australian four to five billion dollars per year. There are 30 species of whales, dolphins and porpoises in the Great Barrier Reef. Six species of sea turtles come to Great Barrier Reef to breed. There are 215 species of birds, including 22 species of seabirds and 32 species of shorebirds. 17 species of sea snake live in the Great Barrier Reef. More than 1,500 fish species live on the reef. And there are at least 330 species of accidents on the reef system. So um, we found this new guy, this new guy called Nick. Uh, we found him on YouTube. Um, uh, we think we think he's got good potential. Um, he, he looks, he just looks really good. He looks like he's in his element at this stage. And um, yeah, we're really happy about it. So we think we think all's going well. And um, Hi. There's some predators in the corals of Great Barrier Reef. There are sharks. They eat fish and turtles. Coral eats small shrimp, plankton, and also other corals. And some fish eat coral plants, and bigger fish eat small fish. Yeah. Uh. Well, this this new guy Nick, eh? Like, mm, don't really like him. Uh, Henry, Henry just picks him for everything, and I'm kind of like cast off, so, um, yeah, Nick's really, yeah, don't like Nick. In the Great Barrier Reef, there are 1,500 different species of fish. They eat plants, plankton, smaller fish, and in some cases, coral. There are also many different varieties of coral, which eat other plants, plankton, and coral. Got this technology uh, books, I think. Is that what? Yep. Is that what? Yes. Yep. Yep. He's just nodding me from the side. Um, a bit disappointed. But yeah, it's not touch screen. No, just garbage. So instead, we've uh, bought new technology. Just use iPad. iPad iPad. iPad. Um, yeah. You know, it's touch screen. What more could you want? Now, 
quantum adaptions. There are many different types of abiotic factors to help out the Great Barrier Reefs and corals. One of the factors is the nutrients found in the water. Another factor is the light. The salinity is very important. The depth is also a factor. And lastly, water movement plays a role in the coral reef survival. Reef zonation. The coral reef can be divided into different zones, <laughs> all with different abiotic characteristics and consequently different biological communities. The environmental factors responsible for these differences are wave action, current direction and intensity, light intensity and light spectra. The environmental factors do not only influence the distribution of reef orga organisms, but can also have an effect on the physical appearance of different species. The most common reef zones easily distinguished are reef slope, reef crest, reef flat and lagoon. I'm, I'm worried about Karen's future in, in this team. Uh, Karen's just, her script writing has been just, um, just a bit off, I think. I'm worried. I'm, I'm not sure, you know, how, how this is going to go. I, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, um, the other members of the group, um, Sam's, uh, I don't know, he's alright I guess. Henry's bossy, obnoxious, picks Nick over me, Nick's a Karen is fine, doesn't do much, I mean, she basically does none of the work, I do all of the work. Um, sorry, what? Oh, the top, the, the most valuable member of the team would definitely be me, definitely be me. Um, I can say that with confidence. Yeah, I mean, if if I was Henry, I'd just um, pick me to do all the work, but um, you know, I'm not, so I'm just I'm just gonna have to deal with it, aren't I? Yep. In the Great Barrier Reef, there are approximately 940 islands, including Bedara Island, Brampton Island, Daydream Island, Dunk Island, Fitzroy Island, Great Keppel Island. Green Island, Haggerstone Island, Hamilton Island, Heyman Island, Hitchinbrook Island, Lindemann Island, Lizard Island, Long Island. Many animals that live on the islands in the Great Barrier Reef, especially birds such as gulls that live off the fish found in the waters, which in turn live off the krill and plankton. The environmental factors How do you <laughs> not <laughs> continue on the distributional of reef? <laughs> you can hardly see my face. You have the environmental factors do not only influence. <laughs> Oh my